Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I uh, was going to talk to you about something that uh, a lot of you might be seeing in your grass right now. Uh, if you look behind me, uh, you're going to start seeing in this yard, there's a lot of mushrooms that are growing. And we get a lot of calls about this and, and there's really, there's no, there's no need to be alarmed, generally speaking. Um, Mushrooms are growing as a result of a fungi that's uh, uh, existing in the in the soil in your grass. It it, uh, it breaks down organic material. It's just always there. And what happens is is that uh, given the right environmental conditions, it produces these mushrooms. So generally speaking, there's hundreds of different types of fungi, and they all have different. Uh, different uh, 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 points at which they have the optimal uh, opportunity to grow. So uh, we're not going to get into those particulars, but in an example like this, you know, generally speaking, they all respond really well to uh, humid weather, very moist temperature, uh, very moist moist weather, and that's exactly what we've been having. And while it still feels uh, like summer outside, generally speaking, the evening times have been getting uh, cooler than what we've got, uh, what we uh, typically have right now. So, uh, a combination of the, the 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 moisture and the humidity, and then maybe a couple of cooler temperatures, it just it reaches that optimal point and it causes these uh, mushrooms to grow. So, like I said though, uh, in, in some cases it could be argued that it's a sign of uh, a healthy grass because of the fact that it's feeding on organic material, and um, that just means everything is just right. So, what generally will happen is is that uh, the sun will come up, it'll dry things out, it'll get real hot outside, and these will actually just kind of shrivel up, fall, and uh, go away. Uh, when you mow your grass, they're going to go away. That they're 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 really they're they're more of an eyesore than anything. There's nothing you can really do to prevent it other than try to change the conditions of the grass or the environment, and and that's just not something you're going to be able to do. Uh, the only time that you really would need to be concerned is if you uh, get a fungal condition called fairy ring. We're going to put a picture of that. We actually haven't, or we haven't, I haven't seen any this year, so to speak. But uh, if you start to notice mushrooms growing like kind of in a crescent shape, kind of in a half moon, um, if you start seeing some die out of the grass, it looks like heat stress or drought stress. Uh, but you'll kind of see them, it'll start forming a ring and the ring will just start getting bigger and bigger. Uh, that's something that you need to be concerned about and that's something that needs to be treated very aggressively with a, uh, typically they're more expensive, but it's a higher quality fungicide. Uh, haven't seen any of that, we'll definitely do a video, show you some pictures if we do, but just something to be on the lookout for. Now don't confuse this fungus with uh, the another more common one like brown patch and that's what most people are used to. Um, and we're probably, I'm going to say another four to six weeks out from uh, starting to see that. So you need to be keeping an eye out for that. Uh, large patch, brown patch, people call them different things. It's, it's more common in St. Augustine. You will see it in Centipede. But uh, don't, don't confuse the two. This is something different. Brown, funguses like brown patch need to be treated very aggressively, very quickly. When you start seeing mushrooms like this, you may even see them in your landscaping, uh, growing underneath uh, shrubs and whatnot. So it's nothing to be alarmed about. It just happens to be that the uh, environmental conditions were just right for the uh, for the growth of these mushrooms to spin off. And uh, there's really just nothing you need to do about it. Just uh, let the sun come up, dry them out, and wait for you to, uh, to cut your grass next time. So if you got any questions or uh, any concerns, please feel free to ask. Y'all have a great day.